Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Rabina Rastaban. And today I'm going to get into the situation involving Little Kim. And I'm going to provide some explanation of why she has uh, made these drastic uh, changes in terms of her appearance. And I'm going to use numerology combined with a little astrology. So uh, Little Kim was born on uh, July 11th. Now there is a discrepancy in terms of what year. In, uh, according to uh, Wikipedia, she was either born in the year 1974 or 1975. So um, I do remember uh, hearing back in the day that it was 75 because I do remember me uh, thinking, oh, oh, we were born in the same year, we're the same age. So I am leaning towards 1975 as her year of birth, but if anybody um, has the accurate year, please feel free to comment and um, that way I'll pull her chart and you know we can chop it up on you know what energy she's working with in her chart. So I did pull a chart for the year 1975 and I think that's the accurate uh, year because of the aspects that I'm seeing in her chart which would contribute to her level of insecurity and the reason why she's getting um, this uh, extreme plastic surgery. So uh, just to get into her numerology, as I said, she was born on the 11th of uh, July, which would make her a cancer. And the fact that she's born on the 11th would make her a very strong, hardcore cancer, regardless of what's going down in her chart. Because 11 breaks down to 2, and 2 is the number of the moon and the number of cancer, because cancer is ruled by the moon. So... 11 people are often very subjective. It's very hard for them to think rationally. Um, they may easily, uh, are easily led by their emotions. It's hard for them to be objective. And they might uh, always be plagued with an internal conflict. Either the conflict will be internal, usually it is, but there'll also be external conflicts always taking place. So the 11 person, uh, which is little Kim, may feel like she's always at odds with someone or something. So you could take that back to her relationship with Biggie Smalls. Uh, she was the other woman, which is very common for an 11 person to end up being the uh, side piece or the other woman or other man in a relationship. So she uh, was not just the only woman in relation to uh, Biggie's relationship with Faith. She was also the other woman when it came to his relationship with Charlie Baltimore. So 11 people often have a problem with comparing themselves to others. So they often take fault with themselves when they look at other people who they deem to be better than them or at a higher position or uh, those people that are uh, given more favor. So the fact that Biggie Smalls chose Faith Evans and um, Charlie Baltimore over Little Kim, that really, uh, did a lot of damage to her self-esteem. Now, her self-esteem and her sense of self-worth was already damaged before Biggie even came into her life. But because she's an 11, she allowed Biggie's influence to have a negative impact, an even ne more negative impact upon her self-esteem and her ability to stand on her own and develop a strong sense of self-worth. Oftentimes, uh, the 11 person feels like they're uh, pit against a rival or a uh, opponent. So it's very hard for the 11 person to feel whole or feel complete. And oftentimes, there's this uh, feeling that you're being compared to someone else or that you're not measuring up to what a certain standard is. Um, they often can be their own worst enemy. So 11 people can be their own worst enemy and it's because they tend to have a dual persona. So that there's one side of them that you know is really uh, positive and then there's the other side that can be very negative, prone to self-hate, um, prone to self-loathing. And 11 people often have a shadow side to them that often comes out when they're in personal relationships or when uh, they feel insecure. So that shadow side will take over sometimes and they will end up becoming someone they are not. So 11 is also a number of illusion and deception. So trying to even deceive oneself 
in terms of who they really are. So I mentioned about the insecurity. Uh, the 11 person, especially when they're a cancer, is prone to extreme insecurity and inadequacy. So that explains little Kim's uh, problem. They also are prone to excessive vanity. And uh, 11s can go to two extremes. Um, and in the process of going to extremes, they can be become very neurotic. So it's very hard for them to feel settled, to feel at peace, to be, you know, accepting of themselves. Uh, another, so like I said, with the extremes, sometimes they go too far in one direction, which is what little Kim is doing. Uh, she does not like certain aspects of herself. So instead of trying to gain acceptance, instead she goes far into left field and will make these drastic changes to her appearance to turn herself into something that she considers to be more admirable or more lovable. The number 11 person really needs to operate at the two level. So 11 breaks down the two. And operating at the two level, you're more able to be comfortable with yourself. You have more inner peace. You can um, practice self-love and unconditional acceptance. So the fact that little Kim goes through these drastic changes in terms of her appearance lets you know that she's living through the number 11 instead of the number 2. All comp compound numbers, which the number 11 is, come with uh, extra difficulties that the single numbers don't have. So if you're born with a compound number, there'll always be some additional uh drama or additional problems that the person has to overcome. Now they consider 11 to be a master number. However, that uh, 11 is very hard to navigate. It's a number where it's an imbalance of power and there's a lot of internal struggle going on. And like I say, it's a number that tends to lack rationality, tends to be very instinctual when it comes to behaviors and may have a hard time thinking logically. Now, uh, when I pulled her chart, I noticed one uh, aspect in particular that was very telling. This is if she's born on this on the, um, in 1975. I'm not going to go too deep in her to, into her chart because I'm not really sure about the accuracy of that date. But um, like I said, if somebody wants to provide the accurate year that she was born, you know, I'll really appreciate that. But she has some conjunct Saturn in Cancer. Sun conjunct Saturn can deal with a person that's prone to self-loathing or self-hate or they're very hard on themselves. Now, when you add the cancer sign into the mix, cancer is about race. It's about nationality and ethnicity. So, oh, and then um, with Sun conjunct Saturn, Saturn deals with darkness or blackness. So the fact that she, you know, was brown skin bothered her because in her mind, it wasn't the ideal. So it goes back to that whole relationship with Biggie and maybe other guys that were around her that would always big up light-skinned women or Hispanic women or white women. And as a result, little Kim internalized that being an 11, took it personally, 11 and two, very personal numbers. She took it personally, she internalized that. So instead of, you know, just saying, you know, oh, well, you know, that's their preference. She took it to mean, oh, I'm less than, I'm worthless. So I have to uh, try to achieve this ideal, which is looking like a Caucasian or a white woman. So she has an aspect of Saturn, um, Saturn conjunct the sun, and it's in square to Jupiter and Aries. Now, Aries can be a sign of white or the Caucasian. Um, and also, it can be a sign of racism and also uh, prejudice. And Jupiter deals with idealism. So with that square between her sun, Saturn, and Jupiter, she is stuck on this ideal. So she's doing everything in her power to try to achieve that ideal so that she could be one of the ones who are worthy of being worshipped or admired. So that's just my take on little Kim. Please feel free to comment. Please like and subscribe. If you like this video, there'll be more to come. I'm going to start doing more videos on celebrities because um, I think a lot of people are interested in that type of thing. So that's my uh, video for today. Peace and blessings.